Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. Let's talk about Team USA getting eliminated from the FIBA World Cup. Come on, man. Come on, man. So we sent all our plumbers out there, and they couldn't get it done. We're supposed to be the best in the world, right? We know international ball has caught up. They don't fear the U.S. anymore. We know that. But come on, man. Y'all can't go out there and not get it done. But unfortunately, they're eliminated. This shit don't make no sense, man. The U.S. is supposed to have the best basketball league, period. The best players, right? Supposedly. Yet they got eliminated from FIBA. I know they didn't send the greatest we have. But regardless. Come on, man. This ain't a good look. This is not a good look. Not for the NBA. Not for the U.S. It's not a good look. Despite having some of the best players in the, on the planet, we continue to fall behind on the international basketball scene. And this is another big blow to the entire NBA and to U.S. sports, man. Like, you can't lose. You got to win. But they got eliminated. First, they lost to Lithuania, and that was a telling sign of what's to come. Now they're eliminated. So Lithuania lit the match, and Germany burnt the goddamn house down. And who's to blame? Is it coaching? Is it the players? You basically sent our second-tier players. We didn't send our best. Nope, because we figured we're that good. We could send our plumbers and... They didn't get it done. So Stephen A, you know, he's disappointed. And he said, Team USA got exposed, which they did. The world is catching up. I know we didn't send our best, LeBron, KD, Steph, yada, yada. But regardless, this is proof that we need to send our best. You can't send our second tier players and think, okay, you know, we're going to beat anybody on the world stage. Not anymore. The world has caught up, and they're catching up. So moving forward, they got to send our best. You can't send our second tier, you know, a bunch of rookies or young players and thinking, oh, we're going to beat these dudes. These, we're going to beat these international teams with veterans. You're playing against Nicola, the NBA champion, and other great international players. You're going to lose. We got to send the best we have, but nope, we're going to send the plumbers and young guys. And that's what happened. They got their ass handed. So Lithuania smacked them upside the head and Germany hit them with a knockout punch. Game over. So Team USA failed to make the finals for the second straight year. Once again, they didn't make the finals. And that's a problem on the world stage. So they're getting their ass handed to them. On the world stage, which gives credence to Noah Lyles and others who have basically said this ain't no world championship when they win NBA championships. Even though everybody blasts Noah Lyles and, you know, they had the NBA, Kevin Durant, etc., they came at him. Now, when you look at this situation, what can you say? And you know what? The U.S. losing to Germany, this validates Noah Lyles. Comments. You can say whatever you want to say, but it's not helping that you lost when he said it's not the world. You know, the NBA championship is not the world. That's just the U.S. And lo and behold, Team USA got eliminated. So now that entire comment and that entire situation, it's looking valid. Like this is validating that whole situation. We might have to go get Melo out of retirement, man. I know he's older, but shit. I think Melo could even give you a lift, even at this age. So the days of Team USA going undefeated in the international games, that's over. That is over. Feeling like, you know, we're superior. We have the best players in the universe or in the world, which to an extent we do. But if you're going to send out second tier players, this is what's going to happen. Because in a sense, you're disrespecting the international teams. Feeling like we are so superior that we could send our second-tier players, young players, our second-tier unit, 
and we should be able to get it done. And that ain't the case. So moving forward, you have to send our best. You can't send the plumbers. You have to send the best of the best. That's the only way we're going to win moving forward. You can't be sending, you know, all these second tier players and stars because you feel like, you know, we're superior or we're just so ahead. No, it's a new day. International ball, they're pretty good. When you're facing players like Nicola and Luca and others, you're going to get your butt handed to you. So we have to send our best. We can't send the second tier anymore. That's over with. That's done. Fortunately for Team USA, they could get their redemption. 2024 Olympics, they could still redeem themselves. Obviously, we're going to send our best. We're not going to send our second tier. Team USA could redeem themselves in 2024. But as of right now, they got to hold that L. And it's a bitter one. This is a bitter L, but you got to hold it. Y'all got ahead of yourselves, you know, thinking we could send the second tier unit and we should still be able to get it done. No, no, no. You got to send the best of the best. 2024, they'll get a shot to right all the wrongs. And we got to bring the gold home. No silver. No, we got to bring the gold home. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'm going to say it. It's all about the game.